you must be protected from my videos, says this Frenchman. Amazingly, Facebook lets him censor me. Temperature is rising. We produced this video about climate change titled, Are We Doomed? Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We're not doomed, said these scientists. It's all about harm waving, it's about emotion, about sending out kit in protest. Now Facebook won't show you that video because so-called fact checker Emmanuel Vincent told Facebook that it contains partly false information. All the climate scientists that I know personally, they agree that climate change is real. But wait, our video said climate change is real. But Vincent found scientists who disagreed with some of what we said. Only one would agree to be interviewed, Patrick Brown. What I took issue with was like the sea level claim. Brown didn't like that these scientists said that America can adjust to rising sea levels by doing things like building dikes to hold water back like Holland has. You acknowledge that the water is rising. Yes, the water has been rising for approximately 20,000 years. To me, when I watch that video, what I hear is that sea levels have been rising at a pretty constant rate forever. It's very small. It's not a big deal. And we will, you know, adapt. That's not the mainstream view. Brown says sea levels could eventually rise 200 feet. But you're citing an extreme. If I mean, obviously, if sea levels rose 200 feet, that would be a huge problem. But the IPCC doesn't consider that likely. I mean, I don't know if they assess sea level rise out to a thousand years, but that's what that's what I'm talking about. A thousand years. They censor me because of what might happen in a thousand years. My video also questioned the claim that hurricanes are getting stronger and stronger. The winds are getting harder and harder. No, they aren't. You can take a look at all the hurricanes that around the planet. We can see them since 1970 because we got global satellite coverage right. and we can measure their power and there is no significant increase whatsoever. Misleads viewers, said Vincent, but his own reviewer told me. And that's true. We don't see a, a change in hurricane frequency. That's consensus opinion. Yet Vincent still censors me for reporting it. I think that's wrong that you, that, uh, you were criticized for saying that. The IPCC, they don't claim that they're increasing. They don't claim that droughts are increasing. They don't claim that floods are increasing. Later, Brown emailed us saying, the problem is omission of contextual information rather than facts being wrong. Oh, so their fact check wasn't about actual facts. You get kind of flagged for being, you know, downplaying that it's a problem at all. But I didn't do that. Again, our video said the temperature's been rising and it's predicted to keep rising. It's a problem. What's wrong with saying that? There's nothing wrong with saying that. It's a tonal thing, I guess. So I'm censored because he doesn't like my tone? Our facts were right. We've posted this document on johnstossel.com listing our sources and answering the censor's claims. Look, there are children who are frightened that they're going to drown and young adults who aren't having babies because they think climate change is going to end the world. So there is a fair amount of alarmism out there. And I agree. I get emails from people. Is it worth it to have a kid to bring them up in this terrible world that's going to be, you know, destroyed by climate change? And I'm so scared about, you know, famine in my lifetime. I just reply that says and say, you know, look, the reports don't say that. So we should have more debates. Yes. Yes. But Vincent's group, which he calls climate feedback, censors debate. At least this time, his censors watched my video. Previously, they had Facebook censor this video on wildfires, even though they hadn't watched it. One of their reviewers admitted that that was a problem. If this is implying that the, we have reviewed the video, then this is clearly wrong. That video argued that climate change had less effect on wildfires than bad forest management. Forests that were well managed have survived the megafires. That too is totally accurate, said reviewer Brown. You emphasized forest management, and I think that's totally legitimate. I got smeared by climate feedback anyway, and I have no way to fight back. And Facebook just lets them do this. I don't know. I don't know what the solution is in terms of, uh, you know, policing information. What kills me is that when climate feedback 
rates me partly false, that significantly reduces the number of people who see it and see my other videos. Yes, climate feedback censorship crushes all my videos. When they repeatedly rate things false, Facebook reduces all video distribution. So this is really important to me that it be done fairly. I am sympathetic with what you're saying. At the same time, as a consumer of information, I like the idea of having some type of system where you know content can be compared to what experts think. Il nous faut des centaines de milliers potentiellement de scientifiques dans le réseau. Now Vincent plans to grow his group and censor YouTube and Twitter too. Climate feedback's eager to scare people about climate change, so governments will spend money on it. What happens with groups like climate feedback is that they're looking at uh, emissions and nothing happens uh, policy-wise. And so then they develop this bias towards we really need to, you know, fact check something that goes against the narrative. Anyone saying there's no climate emergency will be censored. Now, climate feedback does occasionally also criticize alarmism. If it's ridiculous enough, like this New York Magazine cover story suggesting climate change would make the Earth uninhabitable. But the censors ignore lots of alarmist hysteria, like Time Magazine's The World on Fire. There were three times as many fact checks on skeptics as on alarmists. Yeah. Yeah, I... I agree with you then. I think that that's, uh, I think that's wrong. They should be fact-checking the alarmist side just as much. But Vincent doesn't. And because of that, Facebook now hides many of my videos from you. How dare you? If you want to keep seeing our videos, please sign up for my email list. Just click that link. Then, once a week, we'll email you our new video. And that way, we're not at the mercy of Facebook or any other social media company.